This really is just characteristic deer tick country. People are in great danger from tick-borne diseases like Lyme disease in their own backyards. I'm constantly looking into people's yards to see if they're at risk for ticks or not. There's five things I usually look for when I'm assessing the risk for ticks in a yard. The first thing is I look for rodent habitat. Wood piles are a good spot, especially if they're close to other features like this mulch pile. I also look for high humidity areas in the shade where there's leaf cover on the ground that ticks can be in, in high humidity. The next thing I usually look for is evidence for deer. And these people must have deer because they have a deer fence. Then I look to see what the relationship is between the tick habitat, where the high humidity and, and the cover is, and the risk for human exposure. The last thing I usually look for is whether there are pets that come and use the yard and, and also go into the house because that's a way that ticks can get into the house where people are unsuspecting. I would say that the tick risk is very high here. I know there have been many cases of Lyme disease in this neighborhood. This bird feeder may be one source of bringing deer right into this yard. You can see that a lot of the spilt seeds land on the ground. This can be very attractive to deer. It's also going to be very attractive to rodents and, and the rodents can be living right underneath this deck. Ticks are a dangerous environmental hazard. Having ticks in your yard is like living on a toxic waste dump. In fact, just a few houses away, someone died of anaplasmosis a few years ago. So this is a, an area with a lot of risk. prevent getting bit by a deer tick. Who gets creeped out by the thought that a tick has crawled up your entire body? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to give you strategies to protect yourself, um, to keep that from happening. There are many strategies to protect yourself against ticks. Make your yard unfriendly to ticks. If you let more sunlight in, rake and remove leaves, these are things that will encourage the dryness that the ticks just don't like. Using approved pesticides to reduce tick populations in your yard can be very effective and it can be applied just around the edges of the yard. These tubes are filled with permethrin soaked cotton. Mice take the cotton for their nests and the permethrin kills the ticks. You could also install a deer fence to keep the deer out of your yard. When you go outside, wear permethrin treated clothing, such as buzz off clothing. Or you can treat your own clothing using insect repellent kits which contain permethrin. Check for ticks daily and pay attention to where clothing constricts. Own a sharp pair of tweezers to safely remove ticks. Protect your pet using spot-on products that kill ticks. The vet took his temperature and it was almost 104, which is very bad for a dog. And they put him on uh, antibiotics. He doesn't have the fever anymore, but now he has uh, joint problems in his rear legs. And he's only three and a half years old. I was told by infectious disease specialists that I, the best I could hope for was to maintain myself at the level that I'm at now, which is disabled. And um, so I live my life measured in small ways these days and, and measure by what I can do and not by what I can't do. The good news is that we have 
developed effective methods for controlling ticks, for preventing tick bites, and for protecting people from tick-borne diseases. You have to pursue getting treated too, because sometimes you're at a place where they don't really understand Lyme disease, so you have to make sure that you do get the treatment you need if you feel badly after a tick bite. And my whole family is, is pretty aware of how to protect ourselves against ticks and Lyme disease, because we live in the heart of tick country, so we need to know. <laughs> if you wear waders in the woods, the ticks can't stick to you. So that's a tip from Dave. One infected deer tick can change your life. They're there, hidden in the leaves, waiting to latch on.